class. In this class, we are going to see how to use y equals to a exponential 2x plus b exponential 3x to form a differential equation. Now, if you recall our previous class, we say that by forming differential equation, we mean just to eliminate the arbitrary constant. The arbitrary constant we have here are two, which is a and b. So therefore, since we have two, uh, since we have two arbitrary constants, then definitely we need to differentiate the equation two times in order to eliminate the arbitrary constant. So let us start by saying solution. Then we rewrite the equation given that is y equals to a exponential 2x plus b exponential 3x. Let us call it equation 1. From there, we differentiate equation 1 to find equation 2. Then we differentiate equation 2 again to find equation 3. But before that, you have to recall. Recall that if y equals to exponential ax, then y prime will be a is going to come down here then it will multiply everything if you differentiate exponential ax definitely you will get a exponential ax so we are going to use that idea here so we differentiate equation one differentiate y you get y prime equals to if you differentiate a exponential 2x this 2 is going to come down here, multiply a exponential 2x, then plus. Also here you differentiate exponential 3x, then this 3 is going to come down and you multiply b exponential 3x. We call this one equation number 2. Now we differentiate equation 2 again to get equation 3. You differentiate y prime, you get y prime prime equals this 2 here is going to come down and multiply this 2 here you have 4 then a exponential 2x then plus this plus then 3 here is going to multiply another 3 here you have 9 then b exponential 3x that is equation number 3 now from there we we need to eliminate a first. So if you look at it carefully, here in equation 1, the coefficient of a here is 1. In equation 2, the coefficient of a is 2. So you have to make them have the same coefficient. We, we need the same coefficient of a exponential 2x, a exponential 2x. So here is 2, here is 1. So we need to multiply this equation 1 through by 2 in order to have 2 here as it is here. So now we multiply multiply equation 1 by 2 and we subtract it. We subtract it from equation number 2. We multiply equation 1 by 2 and we subtract it from equation 2. So equation 1 multiplied by 2. Here if you multiply y by, here if you multiply y by 2, you have 2y equals to, you multiply this one by 2, you have 2a exponential 2x, then plus you multiply this also by 2, you have 2b exponential 3x. Then you take your equation 2 which is here, y prime equals to 2a exponential 2x plus 3b exponential 3x. Then we said you subtract 1 from 2. That is equation 2 minus equation 1. So y prime minus 2y is here, y prime minus 2y equals to here, 2a exponential 2x minus 2a exponential 2x. This one, go with this one. So here we have 3b exponential 3x. Then here we have 2b exponential 3x. 
So three of them minus two of them, definitely we are left with single V exponential 2x because three minus two is one. So we have V exponential 3x. So we call this one equation number four. So from there also, we compare a question two and three also because previously we compared one and two. So now let us compare two and three. If we look at it carefully, here the coefficient of a exponential 2x is two. Here the coefficient of a exponential 2x is four. So we want them to be equal, the coefficient to be the same. Here must be four. So we have to multiply this one by two because two by two is going to give us four. So multiply equation two by four. We multiply. Multiply equation two by, by two, sorry, by two and we subtract it. We subtract it from equation three. So we are going to multiply equation two by two. Here two y prime, because y prime comes two, is going to give us two y prime equals to here two times two is going to give us four a exponential two x then plus here also times two is going to give us six v exponential three x then we take our equation three which is y prime prime equals to four a exponential two x plus nine b exponential 3x so we subtract equation 3 minus equation 2 so here y prime prime minus 2y prime is the same thing as is the same thing as here 4a exponential 2x go with 4a exponential 2x so here we have 9b minus 6b this is going to give us 3b exponential 3x so if you look at it this will be our equation number five so if you compare four and five here definitely there is a relationship between them because here you have b exponential 3x here also you have b exponential 3x so equation five this y prime prime minus 2y prime this is the same thing as 3 then this b exponential 3x it is here it is the same thing as y prime minus 2y so you see you can substitute the value here you remove b exponential 3x you replace it by y minus 2y because it is the same thing as b exponential 3x so this 3 is there then you open bracket your b exponential 3x is the same thing as y prime minus 2y so from there you expand the brackets so you see you have y prime prime minus 2y prime equals to 3 times y prime you have 3y prime then 3 times minus 2y is going to give you minus 6y then you take everything to the other side you have y prime prime minus 2y prime take 3y prime to this side it is positive here it will become negative minus 3y prime then here minus 6y will become plus 6y equals to now you have taken away this remains zero in the other side. So from there we further simplify to get what? To get y prime prime minus this minus 2y prime minus 3y prime is going to give you minus 5y prime because minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. Then plus your 6y here equals to zero. This can be rewritten as it can be rewritten as this is second derivative it is the same thing as g square y by dx square then minus 5 here y prime is first derivative which is the same thing as dy over dx then plus 6y equals to 0 so you see now the arbitrary constant have been eliminated so this is the resulting differential equation
Thank you.